Hello everyone. Welcome back to my new episode on Excel tip and tricks tutorials. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to create a sunburst chart in Excel. The sunburst chart is a built-in chart type in Excel 2016 and beyond versions. A sunburst chart is used to display hierarchical data in a circular format where each level of the hierarchy is represented as a ring. The sunburst chart is a nice way of presenting relational data sets together in a compact form. This chart type is very strong in summarizing data but can be a little hard to read. Nevertheless, it looks pretty. That's why I am going to show you how to make an Excel sunburst chart. The sunburst chart is basically a stacked pie chart. It is created by stacking the necessary amount of pie charts on top of each other. But there is a couple of tricks to do in order to make a decent one. As an example, I am going to visualize a project team for a manufacturing company. Here are the steps for creating an Excel sunburst chart for visualizing project teams. This is our project team data. It is not very useful in this state. So we need to make some arrangements to make it suitable for a sunburst chart. Let's start to make some arrangement, such that we can create the required chart easily. The purpose of this chart is to categorize the level of the hierarchy. Thus we can represent is the level of hierarchy from the inner ring to the outer ring. Each segment of the ring will be represented by the sizes of each team member. Here is the arranged version of the same data. I made three groups from this data as a project manager, groups and team members. I assigned identical values to each team member to be able to plot them as visible data series. This size is in any other format such as sales value, monthly income or any other numerically represented data. Next, I will take the sum of the total members from each division. For this, I will use the SUMIF function. You may check my previous tutorial about the SUMIF function from the suggested video above. Using the SUMIF function will be easy by using the function arguments window, like I am doing here. Now you can see the total sizes of the production planning team are 70. Before I am copying the function let me adjust the sum if function by using absolute references from the table ranges. To get this done simply press the F4 button from the keyboard by selecting the cell ranges in the function. Now copy the function to get the total sizes for each department. Finally, we can assume the total sizes under the top management, by adding each department total sizes. Now we have completed our arrangement for each level of the hierarchy. Let's start to create the chart now. First insert a pie chart for project manager group by selecting the project manager row. To insert the pie chart go to insert and select the pie chart option from the chart tab. Then move the chart title to the middle of the pie chart. And adjust the format as you desired. Next, let's select any cell from the project team members and insert the inbuilt sunburst chart. To insert the sunburst chart go to insert and click all chart options. From the insert chart window go to all charts and choose the sunburst chart. But here you can see the level of the project team members not organized properly, hence I will close this, will try to insert a well organized chart by selecting only the project team members except the project manager row.
Now you can see the well organized sunburst chart. Let's move the project manager pie chart to the middle. I will do some adjustments from the pie chart I have created so it will be visible properly with the constructed sunburst chart. Then rename the chart based on the series of data. And we have done for today. Hope you have learned and enjoyed watching this video. See you next week. Please like and leave comment on this video, and subscribe to our channel for all the latest updates. Have a nice day.